All right, I have just completed putting the uh, lambda testing and the temperature sensing equipment on the bike here. And so I'll just show how that works. Just to cap it, recap again, it uses um, specially modified pipes with an extension here, which means you don't have the crossover. No crossover. And uh, in the pipes, oxygen sensor and the temperature sensor right here in the exhaust. Got the wiring coming up here. I've coiled up the uh, excess, fastened it here to this bar. So everything's all nice and uh, just just hanging there. Um, goes through here, attaches, one of them attaches to the uh, gauge. This is a dual lambda sensing gauge, so I think it displays two at once, which is of course what you want. There's some leads that don't get hooked up. And so one lead goes into one, I don't know if it's a top or bottom. And then there's a ton of leads which are all just packed behind here. Uh, and they're just sitting there, out of the way. And uh, the gauge, because it didn't have a place for this, what I've done is I've just put a, a three or four cable ties around the cables and around this bar and put it in this corner, a bit of protection there. And that sits there very nicely. So that's gonna be perfect. Because what I wanna see, and I'm gonna put some markings here, some tape with some markings here. Uh, I wanna be able to see the throttle position and what's on the gauge. And ideally the temperature as well. So I might put a GoPro on my tank here with a suction cup pointing at all that, we'll see. Either that or it'll be under my, um, under my chin. Right, what else? Now the gauges here, also cable ties with some protecting, some protection there. That switch for the temperature sensors, I can operate there. Switch for the um, Lambda device, I can operate there. And wiring, power, this comes back here, comes out, I'm gonna wire that up. I'll just check where it wires, whether it goes straight into the battery or it needs to go through a switch or what. I mean, because it's switched there, it probably doesn't have to go through a switch and go straight to the battery. Now on this side, same again. Again, the wires come through from the meter. Cables coiled up again, sitting there and going straight in here with uh, no tension and no pressure and it's all quite uh, nice. And as we can see, nothing moves. I mean, nothing, uh, nothing is at risk of uh, pulling off or anything like that. So that's really good. I'm really pleased with that, considering how much wire there was. Um, quite pleased how that's worked out. What I'm unsure about is just how far these sensors go in to the stream of uh, hot gas. I think I've put it so it's just past halfway, I think. I just have to push it all the way in and then pull back a bit, you know, just to see. And uh, so I'll just confirm that. And then wire it up and then start it up. Confirm it works and if it does, I'll head out and make some uh, recordings. I'll need to determine exactly what I'm going to be doing in terms of the throttle position um, and come up with, you know, f about four, four or five test scenarios that I'm looking at. And uh, then I can record those, see what happens, and then change the jetting if I need to, check it again in those same, same four or five uh, scenarios. I guess that's how we're going to do it. All right, I'm going to leave all the covers off for this, obviously. No point uh, covering everything up. There we go. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go.